So you'll be here in 10 minutes. Okay, then we'll see you soon. Come on, Duncan. Okay, bye. What are you doing, Tom? No, 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 no. Guess what today is? Impossible bald day. But you know what? I'm a little offended they didn't ask me to help. You're pregnant. So? You fell off the ladder last year. I almost had it. No, 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 Chrissy Poo. Dude, did you match me on purpose? Uh, don't call me that. What do you want, Duncan? Well, I brought you some uh, Duncan's, Duncan's Duncan, you know? And why did you do that? I just figured you needed it. What did you slip in here? Just the love push that my heart broke. you. Yeah, see, that's what concerns me. Dude, it's just hazelnut, just how you like it. How do you know that? Over you on the phone the other day, you were saying how they messed up your order and you really wanted your coffee. And I felt bad, so I, I bought you one today. Um, thank, thanks, Duncan. That's unexpected, but okay. No worries, broski. You know you make my world go around. Uh, okay. Um, while you're here, I have a question for you, actually. Um, yeah, come into the big kahuna. I like that. Yeah, sure. Um, so corporate sent this over this morning. It's a payroll request for next quarter and there's an employee code on here that I don't recognize. Am I missing something? With that brain of yours? Of course not. Let me take a look. Oh, I know what's going on here. Well, that's good. Yeah, so the new position. What new position? The new position that corporate's opening up in this branch. You know about that? Nope. Didn't know about that. <sighs> Dang it, Duncan. Do you want to tell me about it? Well, what? Uh, t t what, yeah, no, what? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the new position. What new position? The new position you were just talking about. Huh? Get out. These are the mints. Mm -hmm. You can only have one per day, no matter what Chris tells you. And it used to be in a better bowl until freaking Duncan tried to scam you to that. Well, that's not nice. No, it's not. These are the phones. They mm -hmm. ring off the wall all day long. Right. Uh, try to transfer to the right location. If you can't, just run around and scream. Easy enough. This is paper. I use it a lot. Welcome to Rock Bottom Events. Hello? <gasps> oh, it's a cute little puppy. It's a little French bullfrog. Hi, little French bullfrog. Ah! Bad French bullfrog. You stay here. I'm going to go get help. Sales history, check. Number two pencils, check. Grandfather's pendant, I, check. Seymour, I just wanted to stop by and wish you luck before you and Alvin took off. Oh, luck is for the Irish. Well, David did used to say that I was the lucky charm around here at Rock Bottom Events. Oh, we don't talk about former leaders. You know, are you insinuating that the way Duncan Marcus leads this organization is out of line? Mm, nope, I was just wishing you good luck. Well, save the good luck and leave this to the professionals. This is a really big deal, huh? Yeah, you wouldn't recognize a big deal even if it hit you in your pampered face. Okay, um, I was just saying that this is a really good chance. Jealousy killed my dearest friend, Abel. I'm not jealous. This is a great opportunity for the company. Besides, I landed a big deal this morning, too. Oh, you mean that little wedding. Oh, how adorable. Don't forget to include in your letter home. Oh, mommy, I landed a big, huge wedding at my big girl job. Okay, Seymour, I'll keep that in mind. Here's your water, Miss Janicki. Thank you so much, but I actually want this chilled. Oh, oh, okay, I'll, let me go fix that for you. Thank you so much. Ma'am, what are you doing? Does it look like I'm doing Alice? I'm working. Brittany is not your personal assistant. She's an intern. Oh, Alice, you're insulting me with the thought that I would use a fellow employee like that. 
Here's your water, Miss Janicki. I fixed it for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you need anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay. So, apparently, one day, Duncan listed a job opening. Susan's a replacement while she's on maternity leave. Do you think I knew anything about this? Do you even think I was involved in the hiring process? Do you think my opinion mattered about this? So one day, there she was. She could have been a well-qualified receptionist, a good experience, but no. We have this headache of a college intern we call Brittany. Did you need me, Miss White? Oh no, sweetheart. I was just telling them how you joined Rock Bottom. Oh my gosh, you were talking about me? I'm so excited to be here and I love you so much and I love working with you and I just can't believe I have this job. This is the best thing and best opportunity I could have ever had. Remember when I told you guys that now doing something crazy was crazy? Well, it's crazy time. So I've been feeling mad cooped up in that tiki shack down the hall and I just wasn't vibing it anymore. So the big kahuna, this guy, decided to get integrated with his tribe and now I'm in the heart of the village. Love it. Look at this guy. What are you doing, Duncan? I'm just admiring my broski. Oh, this old thing? Just a Mustang GT with a V8. Am I a car guy? Do I have air in my lungs? It's actually a hobby of mine, no big deal. I'm actually setting up for a GT350 right now, so coming here every day gives me a little hope that it'll be all right. Anyway. Are you done yet, Princess, or are you too busy showing off your Hot Wheels collection? It's Princess Link to you. Zelda is the princess, and Link is the hero. As you can tell, it's going to be a fun day today. No, it's not going to be a fun day. You really need to focus on landing this huge deal. Don't get your protein cannon in a rust. It's a proton cannon. Mallory, your dog just tried to bite me. My dog? What do you mean? Look, there. Oh, hi, cute little puppy. Mallory loves you. So it is your dog. Nope. Sorry, Susan. That's not mine. Well, um, where did he come from? Um, I don't know. Can you say? No. He just tried to bite my face off. No, he didn't. He's so Why is he looking at me like that? Uh, probably because he's going to bite your face off. Oh, dear. Well, what do we do now? Well, I don't know why you're bringing me here. Now we're trapped. No, we're not. I know. Just who to call. Here we go. Alice White. Alice, it's Susan. Thank you for calling and not shouting, Susan. Yeah, 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 whatever. Save the theatricals, Alice. We need your help right now. It's an emergency. What's going on? Mallory and I are trapped in the storage room with a murderer. A what? A murderer, Alice. I heard what you said, but... Hold on one second. I'm checking the cameras right now. No, no, don't do that. He will know. How would he... Alice, come here now. All right, do I need to call the police? No, we don't have time. Mallory and I are stuck. Come help us now. Hey, Rach, here's that thing that you needed. Or, uh, okay. Hey, Nat, do you know where... Where the heck is everyone? Crystal, do you know where the service girls are? No, I thought they went to that conference. That was weeks ago. Aren't you close with Rachel? Yeah, we're close. So close. Thanks for noticing. I love her. Yeah, great backstory. Anyways, um, do you know where she is? I don't, and I would text her, but I don't have my phone. Why? Sebastian took it. Crystal, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this either. Why is he being such a brat? Listen, I just need you to get this to Rachel. It's a uh, previous reference or something. Customers complaining. Can you just do that for me? Chris, how can I find her when I don't have my phone? <sighs> Sebastian, can Crystal have her phone back? Oh, look, he said it's fine. Here you go. Wow, Sebastian must really like you. It looks like you have a future BFF. Yeah, probably not. Oh, Alice, I'm so glad you're here. Took you long enough. Uh, what's going on? Look! Where did that come from? Heaven. Hell. We don't really know. He just followed Susan and she brought him in here. Okay, I didn't just bring him in here. He followed me after you tried to kill me. I think he's just misunderstood. Let's not panic. I'm sure everything's gonna be all right. He's giving you that look. What look? The look he gave Mallory when he almost bit her face off. It's so, true, but I think he's just petrified. Alice, can't you just do something with it and take it somewhere? I'm not doing that. I'll try. No, no. no. Let's just wait and see. All right, little dog, little dog. Run, Alice, run, run, run. run! run! 
One day, when I was six years old, the neighbors down at the end of the street, they had a dog that they would let out and run every morning. So while I was waiting on the bus, the dog showed up and just stared me down. But it was unsaid between us. I didn't like him and he didn't like me. So little six-year-old Alice decided to be nice one day and pet the dog. And the dog latched onto my hand. 10 stitches later, Alice White and canines were no longer allies in this world. Huh, we're free. No, we're not, we're not off the hook. That thing's gonna come back. I saw it on Big Kids TV. Monsters like that come back to the feeding grounds. Well, what are we gonna do? We need backup. I think we should call Chris. He could totally save us. Yeah, that's a good idea. And we should ask Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. I thought you said you loved me. Well, what's that supposed to mean? I don't understand why it bothers you so much. John Paul's just an old friend. I told you, I like you today. <sighs> I don't want to eat there. It's too cheap. I want something more expensive. Yay! Okay, be here at six or, or I'm not coming. What? I'm working. Remind me again why you chose to sit in the back? I can't possibly prepare myself enough to sit next to you. It's so awkward. I feel like an Uber driver. Yeah, an Uber driver would have been way more convenient. I thought you said this thing had a V8 in it. It does. Then why are you driving slower than my grandmother? We're going to miss this meeting. We're perfectly on time. Perfectly on time is unacceptable. We need to be there in advance to communicate interest. I think that it communicates interest that we're interested in going. How do you even have a job? I'm good at what I do. All those adorable little drawings? I knew you appreciated them. Of course I don't, 109. My two-year-old Krishnan has way better drawings. Krishnan? Krishnan is a family word for my nephew. And for a two-year-old, he has massive hands. I mean, give him a feather pen, and he'll show Elvin how to do his job. A two-year-old. So his ears are working. <laughs> I would love to see this, Seymour. This has been a really good week for me. I got that wedding this morning, like I said. I booked two additional showers and I've got clients calling me like crazy to set up tours. Seymour better watch his back because I'm on the attack. That right. I know Natalie always says that she likes when I'm away from my desk because she doesn't like to be by me. But honestly, I like setting up for events. It's quiet and peaceful and I get some time to myself. Well, you guys can stay. You don't bother me. You keep me company. Duncan, we need your help. Oh, what's up, bros? This picture of Chris I took. Isn't it nice? It is. Uh, excuse me. So, uh, what's up guys? What can I help you with? Alice is being attacked. Attacked? <coughs> what do you mean attacked? There's a sweet little dog here that's a rabid bullfrog trying to rip out her jugular veins. So where's Alice? The dog chased her down the hall. Wait, 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 wait. So there's a dog chasing Alice? Yeah, right now. I want to see it. I don't think I can focus if there's a dog running around the office. Uh, Alice is terrified of dogs. I'm terrified of this dog. He's so cute and little though. He tried to rip your eyes out, Mallory. Now I'm terrified. All right, guys, we need to go rescue Alice. Come on. All right, Vic, we're on the tribe to the rescue. Sorry, sorry, Jesus. Uh, uh, Sebastian, stop pushing. Damn. You guys see anything? I don't see anything. Move. Alice, open up. It's not out here. Not yet. She's right. He appeared out of thick air. He's just scared. He's a killer. Alice, for the first time in your life, I'm trying to help you, so let me in. Take your shot, Natalie. I'm not opening that door, so that dog is gone. <sighs> Alice! What is Alice! Baby bro, bro, Dunkin' is here. I'll take care of the poochie problem. That don't make me feel bad. Alice, get... I'll take care of the dog. Coming from you, Chris? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's the plan? Get the bullfrog out. And see Alice. And what about Rachel? I haven't seen her since earlier. And no one has seen Natalie either. <gasps> Do you think he already got to her? Uh, I don't want to seem fat. Maybe the new intern killed her. <laughs> okay, 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 stop. All right, let's split up. That's a great idea, Duncan. Chris, you're with me. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. All right, we're going to focus on finding the dog. Uh, I'm maybe a little bit worried that neither of the guys are going to be with us. Mallory, we have Sebastian. Oh. Yeah, Duncan, maybe she's right. One of us should probably go with them. And Chris, I need you with me. Alrighty then. You girls, focus on finding Natalie. 
and Sebastian and I will look for Rachel. Crystal, I really don't think it's a good idea that you're gonna be alone. Mallory, we have Sebastian. Okay, right, right, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Alice. The big kahuna and his tribe are gonna take care of this. Oh, I'm very worried now, Duncan. Look, look, look. Like a little schoolgirl. Is my shirt nice? Looks pretty. My hair? Looks like it could be sold to Hasbro in the next My Little Pony toy line. But... Oh, come on. I'm not your wife, Elton. Why do I even know? Do you seriously think I care what we look like? I mean, oh, we didn't go with Rock Bottom because of the Slender Man looking salesman. I'm sorry, I'm just nervous. I'm trying to look presentable. Well, lucky for you, I'm well equipped in this area. Is that so? It is. Well, please enlighten me, Grandmaster. Let's start by adjusting your mouth. What's wrong with it? She keeps opening. Let's go. Hiding? I'm working. Okay, honestly, I learned that if you just tell people that you're working, they don't even question it. I mean, who are you to tell me I'm not working? I need a me day after just being here all day. Do me a favor and don't tell the others. I wouldn't want them finding out. Natalie! Gotta go. Our bottom is literally huge. She could be anywhere. Unless the bulldog got her. Oh dear. I know. It's not like her to be missing. She's like one of the hardest workers I know. Natalie! Natalie, come out here! Natalie Rosa Louisiana Elizabeth Chinicki, come out here now! I just don't understand what could have happened to her. Do you think she had nat napped by the dog? I mean, it's possible that bullfrog is a demon. Are you looking for Natalie? Oh! Jesse, sorry, we weren't expecting you. I've literally been standing right here the whole time. Yeah, have you seen her? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. You did? Yep, she was upstairs in the custodial office. What are y'all doing playing hide and seek? There's a wild dog on the loose in the office, and we don't know who it belongs to or where it came from. Wait, what? Are you serious? Seriously serious. Have you seen it? Sorry, y'all. I've been cleaning banquet halls all day. I haven't been out and about too much. So, what does this dog look like? He's little. Is he white? Yeah, and a little brown. Big head? Yes. Big ears? Yeah, like two huge little bat ears. Does he look like that? It's him! been doing this for man i'm getting mad tired you're getting tired <laughs> remind me again why i agreed to this because that's gonna give you 100 bucks oh yeah man there's still no sign of that piranha yeah i figured we'd see something by now chris don't give up hope bro when we're together what could stop us a train going full speed dude you're bringing these vibes mad sad now you asked <laughs> that's a good one but i really think it's right just hanging out with you is it Dude, yeah, like, I had this massive connection between us, like a tsunami. Like, don't you feel that, like, right here? You know, honestly, I don't know what I feel most of the time. And right now, there's a grown man on my back, so I don't want to think about anything that might be touching me. Well, you know what I mean. But, broski, what are you thinking of me? What do you mean? Like, as a person, as a manager, just like, how am I doing? Um, you're doing fine. I mean, I think you're making great con contributions to the office. Really? I mean, yeah, I think you're doing better than David did. Right, Jess. Yeah, that's not saying very much. Dude, still, it's a CFC. A what? A compliment from Chris. I have a whole journal with all the nice things you say. Please don't. Do you like Broski? You know, I can be the number one bestseller with all the nice things I got on you. You worry me sometimes. Well, you don't worry me. That's why I think you should get the new position. What? The new position. I thought you weren't supposed to tell me about that. <sighs> Dang it. Duncan, oh, how many times are you gonna do this? Rachel! Rachel, are you in here? Rachel, can you hear me? Rachel, clap twice if you can hear me. No, not you, Sebastian. Rachel, clap twice if you can hear me. I'll let you guys guess whether you believe we landed this or not. Not. Rapunzel couldn't stop playing with his hair, so it totally cost us the bid. Are you serious? Could you have criticized their company? I was helping them improve. We needed this, Seymour. Save it, 109. We got outbid. Outbid? How do you know? I saw the other quote sitting on the desk. The whole negotiation was DOA. DOA? What does that mean? It means death on arrival. They weren't interested in us from the start. Are you kidding me? All that hard work? What was the point of putting us through all those rounds of negotiations then? It's business. Either you adapt or you move forward. Seymour, that was months of hard work. I can't believe you lost it. Hey, you did good, kid. This baby shower 
here we come. Sonny Martin, you just keep getting better and better. I've never run so fast in my life. Big eyes, big ears, big head. Oh, that oh sounds adorable. Uh, yeah, sounds adorable if you're a psychopath. That thing tried to bite my face off. Okay, I'm not trying to dismiss your fears or anything, but I think you might be over-exaggerating. Does this face look exaggerating? I'm not sure. We're not playing games, Sonny. Go look for yourself. Oh, my God. I don't see anything. I have to go back to the front anyways. Just come with me. I'll walk you guys up there. <sighs> Thanks, honey. Thank you. So I found Rachel. She was working in the warehouse, but then I lost her. And then I found her. And then I lost her. But then I found her. And then I lost her. Uh, but thank God we found her. She is so fast. Sebastian was trying to take all the credit, but let me tell you, it was all me. Okay, I have a question for you. What's up, my dude? Uh, earlier, you asked me what I thought of you, but why do you care what my opinion is? Because you're my Kaikua Ana. You're what? My Kaikua Ana means you're my big bro, and naturally that means I'm your Kaikaina, which is your little bro. Isn't everyone your bro? No. Huge difference between being bros and bros. Like, you're different. You're my, you're my bro. Do you get it? No. Christy, you that? Uh, yeah. It sounds like a real scream. Oh, Come on, let's go, let's go, hey! Whoa. I think the worst part of my day is when Brooke asked how it went. You know, you just gotta work harder, be better, evolve your game one night, and if we ever work together again, carry your own weight. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Hello? Okay, oh, hey, Alvin! Oh, hey, Brittany, where's everyone? Oh, everyone's running around the office because some rabbit dog got loose and it's chasing everyone. Do I even want to know Alvin? <laughs> Alvin, you're so funny! Alright, we have a plan. I have an idea. What if we use Brandon? Who? Huh? My boyfriend, Brandon! Hi. This is my boyfriend, Brandon. Hi. I know I said we should call 911, but Brandon was the best option. I mean, look at him. You love him. When did he get here? I called him to rescue us! Listen, I have my own plan. I'm gonna catch the thing with my bare hands. Don't hurt him, Chris! Mallory, that monster almost got you like a fish. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm messing with some bad juju here, so we need to take this cautiously. We need to get out of here now. There he is! All right, this is ridiculous. We can't keep this up all day. Chris, what are we gonna do? We're gonna die if we go out there. Wait, where's Rachel? Sebastian, you were supposed to keep an eye on her. What about my sticky notes? I abandoned them. Their little hearts must be broken. It's all in the game, my dudes. Big bro, bro Duncan is here. And plus, Chris is here. What else could you mean? Jesus. <sighs> all right, let's just see if the coast is clear. No, Chris, no, no! Susan, stop. All right, come on. Wait, did you hear that? That funny, that grumbling, that bumbling sound? It's the bullfrog! There he is! <gasps> all right, you mutt. I've had enough of this. Kajiro! Dame! Becky? Oide! Suate! I can't believe it! He's listening to her! Wait, Becky, why is he listening to you? Dudes, this will mean one thing. <sighs> Becky is a bullfrog. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Can't believe I let that one slip by me. I mean, what makes more sense than that? A psychotic dog belongs to a psychically unique member of this establishment. <laughs> Makes perfect sense to me. Well, we can add this day to the laundry list of productive days here at Rock Bottom Events. Afraid of that dog? Me? Please. You know I just liked getting to run around and do a whole lot of nothing all day. Oh, look at the time. That's my exit. <laughs> Wow, 
私の同僚的だと思いますかどうかな